Guys, we are back again. Today's episode, we are gonna be redoing one of our small pondless waterfalls here inside the retail store. The enormous to-do list continues to shrink as we work our way out of winter and into spring here at Aquascape. Today's project, we are going to be redoing this small pondless waterfall right here, which is what we have dubbed kind of the peekaboo bridge. And this is the waterfalls that is leading into it. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. As we've talked about in a lot of the videos in this series of retail store renovations, it's all about the facelift. It's adding a new breath of life into the retail store. And by recreating this small pondless waterfall, just giving it a new look will simply generate so much more interest in it. As people continue to come in here and revisit us, they're gonna notice something new the next time they come in and be that much more excited and willing to come back to our store. So it's all about freshening things up on a regular basis so that we can continue to garner and generate excitement here coming to the store it's such an experiential thing when you come to the store we really want to make it so that people want to come back or can't wait to come back because they never know what's going to be new every time they open our doors so we're gonna focus on that little pond waterfall today and I think I think we can get it all done in one day being that we're working inside the store we're filming it always slows things down a little bit but I think we can get this one done in a day Okay, so kind of first things first. One is we want to preserve all of the plants and in the interior scapes that are in here. So you can see Garrett already in here moving some of the plants about. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Then we will remove as much of this brown rubber mulch as we can so that we can reuse that. We'll start pulling out things like the pathway lights, any of the lights in here. Then we'll start breaking the waterfalls itself down and getting everything out of here. We'll probably stage it somewhere right over here on the patio so that it's nice and accessible. We may end up swapping out all the rocks and doing a little bit different of a look maybe using moss rock like you saw with the spillway bowls haven't quite decided yet but the first things first is get all the plants out so that we can reuse them get the lights out get all the rubber mulch out that kind of stuff and then kind of get it down to bare bones and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do So guys and girls out there, plants have been removed. We also took the opportunity while this space was wide open to go ahead and incorporate a new art piece up along this wall. We're gonna end up incorporating some plants up along this shelf. So if you guys recognize some of this woodwork, this was actually the bridge that we used inside our sandbox studio a couple videos ago when we did that incredible design that Joe Genovese from Genoscapes up in Toronto, Canada that he brought to us to install inside of our sandbox studio. So that's the bridge, but it's all hacked up and turned into an incredible piece of art. That was courtesy of Jack Danley, who was kind of the lead on creating that bridge in the first place. So we gave him the opportunity to cut that thing up and add a little bit more spice back in here into the retail store. So now what we're gonna do is that we have all the plants out. We're going to start to demo the existing Little Poundless Waterfall. So we're gonna shut the pump off and go ahead and start pulling those rocks out. Dude, so we've got a small pondless waterfall, right? Yep. Super, super important to change up the space occasionally. Being in retail, that fresh look is always just, we need to do it, right? So we're gonna take the opportunity now to take this blank canvas. I know it looks terrible, but we're gonna pull out that top liner, right? The spillway, yep. put a new liner down and really kind of work over top of here. And you wanted to chose Moss, Moss Rock? Rock. Yeah. yeah, I love the way the other one turned out. I don't know if you guys have seen that yet, but hoping to do similar over here. So yeah. stay tuned. Cool. So we'll finish getting this kind of cleaned up. We'll get the spillway out, figure out where our overlap is because there's a basin underneath here. We're gonna overlap the two liners and get shaking, huh? Let's do it. All right. Last rock's out, all the gravel's virtually out of there. Now it's time to go ahead and disconnect that spillway, get this top liner out of here so that we can expose the bottom. And there's a bib liner over top of all the aqua blocks to get that water to travel down in between the gap of this bridge, hence the peekaboo bridge. So you just barely see the water. We're in good shape. Once we get this stuff out, then we will make sure that our fabric is good and then we will drop the new liner on top. So 
So we had Eric, our newest teammate, over here trying to take the nut off of the back of the spillway, and nobody told him that it's reverse thread. So he's over there tightening it okay. as it should have been coming off. So notice how he's turning to the right and it's loosening that collar nut right there. Okay, so now you see we've got the other Jack, Jack 1.0, now in picture. He couldn't help himself, so he has kicked me off the job site and he's going to take over. No, no, stop, no, no, no stop, stop. Okay. He's gonna take over with the other Jack and then they are gonna build you this killer waterfalls. So it's gonna be Jack, Jack and Eric over here and then Seth and myself are gonna go back there and stay busy in the warehouse with the rest of the minions. Hey, everybody right now in the comments, give these guys a round of applause, cheer them on, do a drum roll, whatever you gotta do, but give these guys some encouragement. Not that they need it, but I'm sure they would love to hear from you. What we're doing right now is, as you can see, Eric and Jack did a phenomenal job on tearing out waterfall and all the big rocks. Right now what we're doing is kind of more of like the detailed work. We're trying to make sure that all the folds, when they back filled back behind this waterfall previously, that all those folds are all nice and high when we throw this overlap over. Because in case we don't and I accidentally fold or anything in the liner, it's gonna be real easy for that water to find that low edge and seat down. And it could possibly be behind a waterfall. We're not gonna be able to see it. So it's always nice to take the extra time and the few extra minutes to go through and make sure your edges are all nice and high, especially in a retail store when it's not like the ground without water. If there is a leak, it's gonna go down into the ground and here we don't know where that water's gonna go and what it's gonna do. So just, like I said before, just kind of take your time and if something looks a little sketchy, it doesn't hurt to, to go back and spend a little bit more time on that area. As you can see right now, right now you guys can't see it, but we have first west side of waterfalls already built. And right now you can see we pulled this liner back and we backfilled back behind all these rocks just so that we don't, we're not using so much foam back up against these rocks. We're trying to get that as tight as possible and make sure these rocks are nice and secure. Eric is right now carving out our next section where our next waterfall is gonna be at. And this is crucial for you to take the time and make sure everything is right when you guys are excavating out your shelves for your stream. Well, I was telling Eric earlier and Jack that back here, I know we've mentioned it before, when we're back filling, you never want to do like have a whole soil back behind here. So see how right now the soil comes in flat and then it kind of curves up against this, the backs of these rocks. You don't want to do that because don't forget that you're going to have your underlayment and your liner back behind here. So when you guys pull back that liner, you're going to end up having your waterfall rock here and then you're going to have liner and you're not going to be able to hide that liner above that waterfall rock because the gravel is just going to wash away and you're going to see exposed liner. We don't want to see that obviously. So we like to come in through here and we'll kind of dive it down a little bit so that way the fabric and liner can set level and there's no hump back there. Also another thing is when we're excavating these streams, you never want to have the water from shell from the top come down on an angle towards your bottom waterfall. You don't want to have it slope like this. If anything, you want to dive that shelf back towards that upper waterfall so it looks so it kind of gives that illusion that that water dumped down, carved away a pooling area and then continue down down the stream. So right now, you can see they are cruising right along. They got pretty much almost all their rocks set, at least in the waterfalls. Maybe they have one or two character stones to set up top on the spillway. But as you can see right now, they are up in the spillway area installing our 12 inch spillway. So what this spillway is gonna do is it's gonna act like a diffuser. So our two inch line is coming from back behind that rock. We have to just have to extend it out a little bit farther to connect to our spillway. What that's gonna do is it's gonna allow that water to be diverted evenly across this spillstone and then to start our pond this waterfall. So right now they're tightening up our MPT fitting. And when you're installing these spillways, don't try to install that MPT fitting first. You have to put it on after you put the hole through the liner and install the spillway bulkhead. So when I mean spillway bulkhead, I mean this piece right here. When you install that piece and get this liner all connected to the spillway, that's when you can install your MPT fitting. All right guys, so we just finished up hooking up our spillway and now we're extending that two inch line that was from the old existing spillway up to do our new spillway that's over just about three or four feet. So we grab some extra flex pipe and uh, I'll show you how we're connecting it. Jack, Jack, what's going on? 
on? Not a whole lot. Just uh, finished up this pond list and pretty happy with how it turned out. So let's take a look. This turned out really cool. It was really nice for me to kind of step back and I know Chris mentioned earlier in the video that I was kind of watching you guys and having you and a few other guys kind of go along and take charge of it. It was really nice to see that and you guys did a phenomenal job. I love how nice and simple it turned out. I mean, how many rocks we have here? What, two, four, six, like less than, 10, less than rocks. 10 rocks. Yeah, less than 10 rocks in such a small area. It turned out really nice, just the sound of it and I just love the fact they were able to keep the Peekaboo Bridge that we all agreed on we should keep. What's your favorite part of it right now? So my my favorite part about this pondless feature is this right frame rock. I really like how the light comes up and shines on the face of it. You get all the trickle marks, but that's my favorite part. So let us know what your favorite part is down in the comments below. So we just wanted to reiterate on why we wanted to redo this feature in the retail store. As we always say in all our videos that our imaginations are always evolving and this was a perfect example of what that meant. We pretty much used the same material. So Jack, why don't you tell the viewers uh, how seamless this project was? Yeah, it was super easy. We used the same spillway. We replaced the liner and a lot of the rocks to do that new facelift, but same pipe back up to the top. As you guys saw, we did have to replumb some of that, but we knew we wanted to keep the Peekaboo Bridge, but same area. Yeah. We just wanted to inspire the viewers, you guys out there, and how easy this project was for especially two new guys for never building a waterfall by themselves and with, that, with very little help. So like always, you guys know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to share this video. We wanna show people how easy it was and how inspiring this actually can be. And Jack, don't forget about our uh, other projects we got going in our retail store, so keep an eye out for that. We'll you, guys, you guys don't wanna miss this. Oh.